Hi, this video is going to be about simple Mendelian genetics and today I have prepared two easy questions for you. So I hope uh, most of you would be able to solve these uh, problems easily. So I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, choose your answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So the first question is Alleles for petal color in certain flower exhibits codominance. If allele A codes for the red coloration and allele A plus codes for the white coloration, what do the petals of the heterozygous flower look like? And here is the four answers to choose from. And here is the explanation. So imagine that uh, one parent would be of the uh, genotype that is capital A, capital A, and another one would be of the capital A plus, capital A plus. And if we build a Punnett square, uh, as you see, all the progeny would be uh, heterozygous and would inherit one allele from uh, parent 1 and one allele from parent 2. That is going to be capital A plus, capital A plus. And capital A plus stands for the white color of this parent and uh, capital A stands for the red color. So um, what is the F1 generation uh, going to be and this is going to be um, patches of uh, red and white color. So uh, unlike in simple Mendelian genetics where we have uh, one allele dominant over another, here when we have codominance of the alleles as you see uh, we don't have capital A allele and small a allele. We have both alleles capitals. So that means that we would uh, have such situation when uh, flower would be not uniform color, but uh, would look like patches of uh, pure color, uh, as in our example, pure color that is red and pure white. And uh, this is codominance. And for example, if uh, you interested what is the uh, incomplete dominance is uh, in, uh, when we have incomplete dominance, all the F1 generation would be intermediate color between parent 1 and parent 2 or would be pink. So the answer would be D, but uh, when we have codominance, we would have uh, patches of uh, red and white. So our answer C. And the next question, what are the chances that two carriers of cystic fibrosis will have child that uh, inherits no cystic fibrosis allele? And once again, uh, carrier can be uh, expressed as capital A, small a genotype. So if we have both parents that is going to be carriers, uh, once again, we can build a Punnett square, and this is going to be parent 1 and parent 2 here. Both of them going to be heterozygous, both of them going to be carriers. And as you see, here we don't have a recessive allele. Here we have one recessive allele, and here we also have one recessive allele, and here we have two recessive allele. So the question uh, is uh, the child that inherits no cystic fibrosis allele. And this is only one such genotype because all the rest genotypes uh, would have at least with one allele or two alleles. So uh, the correct answer would be B. So only one quarter uh, of the progeny wouldn't have a recessive allele for the cystic fibrosis. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.